Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use the keyword count values in list in robot framework test automation. In the robot framework collections library, the keyword count values in list returns the number of occurrences of the given value in list. When doing some assertion on list, this keyword is very important. You can count any value and its occurrences on a list with this keyword count values in list. Along with the keyword, you will also learn comment, append to list, log, and should be equal. Should be equal is used to do assertion on the expected result. You can use this for string, integer, and other decimal values. And also you can use this for other objectives in Python. Now let's look at the test script. Comment a keyword. I added a description for this test. Returns the number of occurrences of the given value in list. Use keyword create list to create a list named my list and I assigned value 1. Now append to list. I append a number 2 to the list. Next one is append to list. Append number 2 to the list. And next one is append to list. Add another item 3 to the list. So now we have 1, 2, 2, 3, 4 items in the list. I defined a scalar variable count equal to count values in list. And list is my list. So this keyword gets one argument. So we need to specify the value to be counted. So we need to count the occurrence of the value 2 in the list. Now we log the variable count and should be equal. So we convert the number as a string. So on the last assertion should be equal. I used the single code along two sides of the variable count that makes this used as a string variable and convert to to a string. So now let's run this test. As explained in other video tutorial, we have multiple tests in this test suite. So I target this test case as list test 5. I save it. And please remember that always use collections library. You need to import the collections library at the test suite level. Now click on run. Let's click on list test 5. So I save it. Now start. One critical test, one passed. One test total, one passed. And three log files were generated. Now let's look at the console output. So 
Initially, my list is defined with one item. Its value is one. So we added three items. So count is two because we have two items with value two in the list. And we log it the variable count. And last one is should be equal. Now let's look at the actual log file. So comment, we added a comment to this test case. We create list, name it my list, and assigned value one to the list. So initially my list contains only one item and its value is one. Append to list, added another item, value is two. And also next line, append to list, I added another item, name it two. So next line is add one more item, three. So now count values in list, my list, and two. So this line returns the number of occurrences of the given value two in the list. Because we have two, two, so we have two items. So the count variable equals to two. Now we log the count and should be equal. So because the count equals to two, so this test case passed. Now let's close the log and change the script a little bit. Now let's say, let's add one more item, append to list. We append the number three in the list and let's append one more we copy the keyword append to list copy my list we add one more item three here so now let's count the value three from the list and we log the count and count value should be three here so now let's change this two to three now let's save it now let's run this test again Since we have added a value 3 twice, we had one existing value 3, so it makes the count 3. At the last assertion, should be equal 3. So now this test passed. Let's look at the log file. So we have a pen to list three number one, a pen to list three number two, a pen to list three number three. And count values in list my list three. So count equal to three. And log we log is a number three and it should be equal. Here the count is equal. So this test passed. As explained in this video tutorial, you can use count values in list to obtain the number of occurrences of the given value in list. And this keyword is very useful to check duplicate items in list 
and also do some assertion for values. And also you learned should be equal. So that's another keyword for using assertion. You can use the should be equal for a string verification, integer verification, or other object verifications. And should be equal is a built-in robot framework library. For questions and more written examples, please visit www.seleniummaster.com website. Thanks for watching.